here's the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 and I'm going to submerge it underwater, do a water resistance test. Generally, these devices do not have the same type of water resistance as the normal smartphone, those that do not flip or fold. The chronometer is on, it is time. Great news, the screen is working, the chronometer is still on and I can see that everything looks good. So this one does not look any good because water is going inside the device as you saw all the bubbles escaping being replaced by water. Currently the device has been submerged for less than 5 minutes and I have 25 minutes to go, 25-26 minutes. The device is gonna be submerged fully and we will see what is going to happen to this Galaxy Z Flip 6. One thing that I like to do is to move the device around underwater. This is going to mimic what is happening if you have your device with you underwater. So here is something that was not anticipated. The screen started to acting up and a lot of ghost touch happened to the screen and it went on the control center. I will need to remove the device out of water in order to go back to the chronometer. After removing the device out of water, what I noticed was a lot of water was flowing out of the device. This is good. It is good because if water goes inside your Z Flip 6, water should come out very easily, very freely out of the device, which is going to let the device get dried very fast. So this might be an engineering choice by Samsung, making the device take water and expel that water as fast as possible. This one, insert SIM card. I didn't remove the SIM card tray. I do not really know why the SIM card tray notification just appeared after I removed the device out of water. And this is very strange. This is the first time I have this notification and I did the same for the Galaxy Z Flip 5. I never had this type of notification or this sensitivity of the inner screen. Currently, Gemini has been activated after I submerged the device underwater. Why? I do not know why, but maybe it might be another ghost touch. And as soon as I approached the device near the edge of the water tank, I got another ghost touch that put the device into the control center. Here also, you can see water is flowing out of the hinge mechanism of this device. This is good in expelling all the water really quick. This is only nine minutes of the device being submerged and all this already happened. The device is IP48. It is not a full IP68 device. You have the 48, which means that the device is not dust resistant, but it is water resistant. This is what IP48 mean. 13 minutes underwater, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 is still alive and working. The chronometer is on and I also have the water indicator on top of the device for the water inside the charging port. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is also IP48. This is the first time these devices get IP48. Previously on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 5, they were only IPX8. Already past 20 minutes underwater, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 is still working. Screen is still on, chronometer is on, and I still have my notifications on top of the device, meaning that the Wi-Fi is working, everything is still working good. As far as the cover screen, I do not know the status since I didn't remove the device out of water and close the device to use the cover screen. 26 minutes already, definitely this Galaxy Z Flip 6 has a very sensitive inner screen. It is not the same as the normal smartphones. And also when I did the Galaxy Z Flip 5, it wasn't this sensitive. I had to remove the device out of water again. 27 minutes going to 28. Again, you can see the water is flowing out of the device, which is very good. And this is going to help the device get dried faster. As soon as I submerge the device again, it gets filled with water. I should just saw all the bubbles leaving and water entering the smartphone. Definitely this is scarier by everything that is happening with the device while it is being submerged, but this might be just a design choice in order to make the device less prone to water damage. It is time to remove the Galaxy Z Flip 6 out of water and check the device, inspect it to make sure that everything is working as before we started submerging the device in water. Here again, water is flowing out of the device very freely and also the touch screen response is excellent. I do not have any issues with the touch screen response. Everything seems to be working properly with this Galaxy Z Flip 6. So now it is time to close the device and see if the cover screen is working, responding without any problem. Cover screen also does work. 
I do not see any issues with it. Next, what I'm going to do is to remove all the excess water on the body of this flip six. The other thing that I'm going to do that is very useful is to push all the water out of the smartphone. There is still water inside the speakers and also on the hinge. The hinge mechanism area also is still wet with water and I'm going to push everything out and see the amount of water that comes out of the Galaxy Z Flip 6. Currently here I'm still doing a little bit of testing of the screen to make sure that everything works brightness screen touch response everything after i wipe down all the water i still have the notification for water on the charging port which is true there is still water there i need to remove the sim card tray inspect that one i see water only on the outer surface of the sim card tray the surface that you can see there is no water past the rubber seals on the sim card tray this was necessary because I had some notification about the SIM card tray while the device was submerged underwater and removed. And also I didn't get any water coming from the inside of the SIM card tray, which is excellent. So the notification that we saw earlier during the test was something not meaningful. I started with the charging port and the speaker at the bottom of the device. You can see the water is coming from those areas. This is the amount of water that I got on the first try. Definitely this is the right way to push the water out. At least after you've done this, you're sure that you have pushed all the excess water that was inside your smartphone. Next, I'm going to do the hinge mechanism, the hinge area and see what kind of water comes out. Here also, I do have a lot of water coming from the hinge mechanism area. This is the place where I was a little bit skeptical because I kept pushing water out and it kept coming from the device. I still had a lot of water coming from the device after multiple tries. So right now I have pushed a lot of water out of this Galaxy Z Flip 6. I am satisfied with my result and I can see that the notification for water inside the charging port has disappeared. So the charging port should be good to use, but I still have water on the hinge mechanism area. You can see water is still coming out and it seems like there is no end to the water that is coming from the hinge mechanism area. By this time with the Galaxy Z Flip 5, I was done. Water was no longer coming from the hinge mechanism area. Generally when I do this and push all the water out, at some point there is no water coming from the device. But with this one, the Galaxy Z Flip 6, there is still water on the hinge mechanism. So this one, I'm not sure. I will just stop here and see how the device react after 24 hours or 48 hours. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, 25 hours later, the Galaxy device is still working, responding. The inner screen works and the outer screen also is working.